Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the opening sequences and theme songs from cartoons before the 1980s. Number 10, George of the Jungle. This classic 60s cartoon from the same creators as Rocky and Bullwinkle follows George, a dopey parody of Tarzan. The intro sees George and his friends involved in various misadventures and pratfalls. George, George, George of the jungle, strong as he can be. Meanwhile, the distinctive drum-heavy theme song evokes that Tarzan feeling further. The lyrics focus on the show's title while also introducing George's friends, Ursula, Ape, and Shep, and prominently featuring his swinging call. That's completely original and not at all like another man raised by apes. Watch out for that tree. Watch out for that It's a bouncy, upbeat intro that's as impossible to get out of our heads as it is for George to avoid swinging into trees. George, George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me! Number 9, Underdog. It's astounding that a cartoon parody of Superman has a theme this epic. While the lyrics and visuals vary slightly across different versions of the intro, the gist remains the same. Underdog is here to save the day when criminals appear. As we see the titular hero save the day from bad guys, we're serenaded with a chorus of voices belting the lyrics. Run right through all who see or near, the cry goes up both far and near for Underdog! Underdog! The harmonies, bass line, and clarinet all work together to take a simple concept to its absolute peak. Much like its namesake, the underdog intro may be humble, but it's still a victory of a theme. Underdog, underdog. Number 8. Josie and the Pussycats Hanna-Barbera cartoons are known for their snappy intros, and Josie and the Pussycats is no exception. The show follows the eponymous globe-trotting band as they get caught up in various capers and plots. The intro shows them doing just that, along with the band apparently playing their own theme song. Come on along now, Josie and the Pussycats, no time for Pussycats. Speaking of which, it's a self-proclaimed neat, sweet, groovy song, and that describes it to a T. Written partially by William Hanna and Joseph Barbera themselves, the piece is a wonderfully bubbly tune that sets up the show's premise and is loaded with cat-related lyrics. We certainly think it's the cat's meow. Number 7, Johnny Quest. Another Hanna-Barbera masterpiece, Johnny Quest is the quintessential adventure cartoon. The visuals begin with various action set pieces, showing everything you can expect from the show, from exotic animals to explosions to daring feats. All this is underscored with music that's appropriately bombastic, with a bit of a big band jazz influence. It then takes the time to introduce the main characters, with the music taking a slower approach, before ramping up again at the end. Johnny Quest is the gold standard for classic adventure cartoons, and its intro delivers exactly what makes the show great. Number 6, The Pink Panther Show. To be clear, there are actually several different intros for this long-running animated shorts showcase. Our pick goes to the version that uses Henry Mancini's famous composition from the film series of the same name. While this version retains the smooth, jazzy tone of the original, with that unparalleled saxophone, it also has a slight disco flair to it, which is especially evident in the outro, with the Pink Panthers dancing. Speaking
Speaking of which, the title cat gets into various situations during the intro, usually by playing with the medium of animation, such as his environment being redrawn around him. This theme for the Pink Panther show is a fun take on a classic tune that lives up to its origins. <laughs> Number 5. Looney Tunes When it comes to classic cartoons, they don't get much more classic than Looney Tunes. There may have been compilation TV series of these shorts for decades, and while they've gone by many names, they nearly always begin with the same invigorating melody. Over a usually static title card, sometimes featuring the character the short centers around, the song Merry Go Round Broke Down trumpets its whimsical fanfare. While the choice of instruments varies depending on the era, the song and this presentation are linked forever with these classic cartoons. The Looney Tunes intro is among the most recognizable ever made. And that's all, folks. Number 4. The Jetsons Composed by Hoyt Curtin, who did many of the Hanna-Barbera theme songs, the theme to the Jetsons is a relentlessly catchy tune. Meet George Jetson! Against the futuristic backdrop of their airborne city, the titular family makes their morning commute. After a light-hearted opening fanfare, the lyrics introduce us to each family member one by one. Jane, his wife! As each departs for the day until George Jetson arrives at work. While it's fairly simple lyrically, this intro is breezy and incredibly memorable, which has allowed it to remain in the public consciousness for decades. It'll probably continue being so until we're all driving flying cars for real. Number 3. Spider-Man Everyone's friendly neighborhood Spider-Man has had many TV theme songs, but easily his most famous is the 60s anthem. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever a spider can. Spins a web any size, catches seeds just like flies. Look out, here comes the Spider-Man. A chorus of voices proclaim the webhead's virtues as well as his abilities, with lyrics that are as silly as they are catchy. Meanwhile, we're treated to imagery of Spidey saving the day all over New York. He's got radioactive blood. Can he swing from a thread? Take a look overhead. Hey there, there goes a Spider-Man. With its infectious beat and memorable lyrics, this theme song has left a major mark on pop culture, receiving parodies and tributes galore. Even over half a century later, this intro still sets our senses tingling, spidey or otherwise. Life is a great big hang-up, wherever there's a hang-up, you'll find a Spider-Man! Number 2. Scooby-Doo, Where Are You? Speaking of franchises with a ton of theme songs, Scooby-Doo has had its share, but the original is the one that everyone remembers. One part spooky and another part groovy, the theme to Scooby-Doo Where Are You describes the titular Great Dane's cowardice and the singer's need for Scoob to step up. Meanwhile, the visuals take us through the usual Scooby Gang antics, masked villains, hijinks, and so on. Come on, Scooby -Doo, I see. Covered and referenced countless times in the years since it debuted, this theme song is among the most famous and enduring popular out there, cartoon or not. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Flintstones You'd have to be from the Stone Age not to have encountered the intro to the Flintstones. 
While the details of the intro can vary, depending on the season, we're always treated to the familiar sight of the modern Stone Age family going about their lives, along with one of the catchiest songs ever made. Flintstones, meet the Flintstones, they're the modern Stone Age family. The jazzy, upbeat tune just demands to be sung along with, or at least insists you get your toes tapping. Let's ride with the family down the street, through the Recognizable the world over, the song titled Meet the Flintstones has had generations exclaiming yabba dabba do and makes for one of the greatest cartoon intros ever made. Is there a classic cartoon intro we forgot? Introduce us to your favorites in the comments. And watch out for that tree. Spider sense is tingling. Something's wrong up front. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.